This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. I'm here at the annual Bilderberg Conference in Madrid, Spain. And as you can see behind me, the security detail is already well set up. In fact, I've already been detained a number of times by these police officers demanding my identification. Uh, I suppose it kind of comes with the territory at this point, though. The official agenda and participants list has been released, and according to their website, this is the 70th Bilderberg meeting to take place from May 30th to June 2nd in Madrid, Spain. As ever, a diverse group of political leaders and experts from industry, finance, academia, labor, and the media has been invited. So let's just dive right in and discuss who are some of these policy makers and leaders and so-called experts who are going to be meeting in there, and what are they going to be talking about? Well, for starters, I notice there are very few Canadians here this year. In fact, there are only four in attendance, and they are Joshua Benigo, Professor in Computer Science and Operations Research at the University of Montreal. We've got Philippe Francois Champagne, he is the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry. Uh, Evan Sadal, he is a CEO of Alberta Investment Management Corporation. And last but certainly not least is Mark J. Carney. He is the chair of Brookfield Asset Management. And in case you didn't know, Mark Carney was the governor of the Bank of Canada from 2008 to 2013. And he was also the governor of the Bank of England from 2013 to 2020. It seems that his next venture in life may be politics, as he seems to be looking for the position of Prime Minister of Canada, if of course these guys are going to allow it. Stephen Harper attended the meetings in 2003 and then just two years later this relatively unknown man became the Prime Minister of Canada. Christia Freeland was here last year but she is not here this year in attendance but either way there are now two potential candidates for the Bilderberg pick of our next Prime Minister of Canada. This year's meeting is also very political leaning as my friend and journalist Charlie Skelton points out. This year's Bilderberg Summit is thick with politicians including four EU commissioners, two Prime Ministers, the President of the EU Council. Two names jump out, uh, Dimitro Kaluba, Ukraine's Minister of Foreign Affairs, and Sigrid Haig, the Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator for Gaza at the UN. Some other notable names are Pakshel Donahoe, the President of the Eurogroup, Jens Stallingberg, the Secretary General of NATO, We've got Dimitro Kaluba, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Charles Michaels, the President of the European Council, of course Alex Karp is here again, CEO of Palantir Technologies, also, we have the King of the Netherlands <laughs> in attendance as well. Uh, David Petraeus is also here. He's the uh, chair of KKR Global Institute. Of course, we have Eric Schmidt. He is the former CEO and chair of Google. Uh, Peter Thiel, president of Thiel Capital. And also Albert Borla, the chair and CEO of Pfizer Inc. By the way, I've already confronted somebody for not being on the list last year, even though he was here last year, and he's also not on the list this year, even though he's here. Oscar Stenstrom was Sweden's chief negotiator for NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and he was obviously successful as they did officially join in March of this year. And now he seems to be operating on behalf of the Bilderberg Group which may explain why he's not officially on the list as a participant. I'm a reporter, I cover geopolitics. So you weren't on the uh, participants list last year officially in its capacity. Are you going to be on the list this year? Because you're obviously officially here. Mr. Stenstrom, you think we could do it sometime? Yeah. So what are some of the topics on this year's agenda? Well, over the 18 years that I've been covering this, they never used to release this information. It's only in recent years that they've essentially been forced to hide in plain sight. So what's on the agenda this year? We've got the state of AI and AI safety. Now, obviously, there's major potential in this technology someday becoming uncontrollable, or perhaps worse, maybe becoming so aware and so intelligent that they will know more about you than you know about yourself. Changing faces of biology. That is certainly a new one for me. Let me know what you guys think that might mean in the comments section below. Climate is a topic of discussion. And by that, of course, they mean they need to figure out how to continue to convince you that you are the problem. And so a global solution is going to require controlling you. The future of warfare, Ukraine and the world, the Middle East, China and Russia are all very war-centered, so that obviously will be a big part of this year's discussions. 
And you've also got geopolitical landscape, Europe's economic challenges, the U.S. economic challenges, and U.S. political landscape. Or in other words, who shall we select to be the next chief puppet of the United States? Because certainly at this stage in the game, you do not get into that position unless these guys give the green light. Now this is only day one, guys. There is so much more uh, to, to come out as we continue to cover this, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on the topics and the participants. My friends, if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this information, please consider checking out the Go Get Funding campaign. I will leave a link in the top of the description below. And that's all for today, guys. Please stay tuned for more extensive coverage coming from Bilderberg 2024 here in Madrid, Spain. Please click that like button, share this video, and stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports on Bilderberg coming very, very soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. Truth will set you free. free, free.